Hi, it's Chrissy again for your fourth and final on the communication and conflict management condensed brief. So I talked earlier about a really powerful phrase that you can use when you're having conflict with someone. And this is probably particularly helpful for when you're just trying to get to a general understanding. The first phrase I used was, how can I help? The second one is, what do you need from me? Kind of defining what is it that you want out of this um, conflict or out of this communication, what do you need from me is another really helpful phrase, a really powerful phrase to kind of get your point across. Um, check back with us if you have more that you would like from uh, communication and conflict management. We have more to these briefs, but I'm just trying to con condense it for the medium that we're using right now. Um, this is a handout that I have, but I have a slide for you here. Kind of six steps for success for conflict and for communication. Really emphasize and capitalize on your shared interests. I play a lot of games when I go out to commands and the game that I play with myself when I have conversations is I'm going to find something we have in common within five minutes or 10 minutes and I always get there. There's always something that we can usually agree on. So that helps too. I see you as a person. I feel understood by you as a person. And we really want to capitalize on that because then we're more likely to get to the end goal that we want and communicate more effectively. Um, make sure we understand what your idea of a good um, deal is and what my idea of, of a good deal is so we can kind of come to that understanding, okay? Identify some positive outcomes. It would be really nice if we could, for example, um, you, you work the duty days that work for you and I work the duty days that work for me and we always have the duty schedule filled. Um, let's see if we can come to that agreement all together. Um, Make sure brainstorming solutions. So one of the ways that we talk about um, communication and problem solving is throwing up every possible solution that there could be, even if it sounds crazy. Um, and you would be surprised at some of the things that come out of that, because if I just have in my head, like the answer to the duty schedule is that I just put you on the duty schedule for the day that works. I like use an alphabetical system and um, Alex goes before Bravo, goes before Charlie, goes before Delta. Um, that might work for me and seem like it's fair, um, but maybe if I ask around and see what some of the issues are, we can come up with a better system, like a, like a, a number system, or maybe someone's willing to take um, two Saturdays a month because they really wanna be available for their child's birthday on Wednesday, something like that. So think about putting every solution up because sometimes you can come to a solution that everyone agrees on just by getting some collaborative efforts, okay? Um, best solution, that's kind of subjective, so I'll leave that up to your workspaces to determine what that is. Um, find a plan to implement the solution and follow up on it, um, and then Always check in later, and that was the from the communication brief I talked about following up. Um, and it can be as simple as, I appreciate you coming to me with that issue you were having with your um, car insurance. Um, were you able to, to get the result you wanted? Yes, no, if the answer is no, let's go and find someone over um, at Fleet and Family or Navy Marine Corps Relief Society or someone who, 211 is actually a place that we can refer for things like car insurance, something that we don't do in our offices. Um, but we want to make sure that, that you have that resource. I'm glad that you brought a problem to me and we want to get you the help that you need. Um, all right. So again, remember that conflict does strengthen relationships. Um, it's good to recognize what a conflict style is and how it can be useful and recognize the ones that you use most frequently. Um, make sure to um, like, for example, we want to make sure we have positive outcomes and that we also identify resolutions. Um, one thing that my dad used to say um, when I was going through my teenage years of arguing a lot, um, he would say something to the effect of after an argument, he would go, okay, well, you won. Now what? So what? You won. So what? Is that what you really wanted? And I bring that up because sometimes people get very charged by conflict and by wanting to right themselves. They want to be, they want to get justice in the situation. Um, when in reality, that might not actually be the outcome that we want. Um, if I'm having an argue with, argument with my spouse over hurt feelings, 
um, him being right and me still having hurt feelings is probably not the outcome that we want from that interaction. I want to be understood and he wants to understand me a little bit more. So think too, what are the actual outcomes I want from this conflict? Do I actually want to damage this relationship? Do I want to better this relationship? Do I want to get to a place where we're understood more? And formulate your resolutions to meet that end goal, whatever that might be. All right? All right, this is all I have for conflict and communication. Thank you so much for watching. Fleet and Family, again, is here for you. Should you need anything, I'll throw up our centralized scheduling number. We still have this phone manned. So if you have anything that you do need, just call this number and we'll get they'll get you in contact with someone. If you want additional handouts for this brief, call us and they'll send you over to someone um, in life skills and deployment who can send those over to you. So thank you for watching. Everyone stay safe. Bye.